Now, former employee of Mama Lucy Children's Hospital has be, that has been was accused of child trafficking has been sentenced to 25 years in jail. Fred Aran Larpan was sentenced to 25 years in jail as well as issued with a 10-year non-custodial sentence while his co-accused, also a former employee at the hospital, Selina Awar, was sentenced to two years in jail with the option of a fine of 100,000 shillings. More details in the Skills of Justice segment. The offense of human trafficking is now an emerging trend and a transnational organized crime which has a grave impact on national security. Senior Principal Magistrate Esther Kimelo found Laparan guilty of seven offenses of child trafficking and neglect. The trial magistrate pointed out Laparan received 300,000 shillings for the sale of one of the three minors. His co-accused, Selina Awar, was not found guilty of child trafficking, but the prosecution proved a case against her for child neglect. The first convict will be sentenced to serve custodial sentence of three years on count one conspiracy to commit a felony that is uh, trafficking in person. In count three, in count two, three, and four, the accused person will serve imprisonment of 30 years. The second convict, who is a first offender, will be sentenced to serve an uncustodial sentence. And the court will exercise discretion and uh, give him a penalty of uh, 100,000 years. She lives in four two years imprisonment on each of the charge of child neglect. Laparan's defense counsel, Dunstan Omari, and Martina Swiga say they will appeal the verdict. We shall be moving to the High Court to challenge sentence. Two, we shall also be moving to the High Court to challenge the finding of guilt. Because the evidence produced exonerated our heart. But we are not going to keep quiet. We shall challenge that decision. We shall see to it that justice is done. Elsewhere, 32 prosecution witnesses in a graft case facing former Treasury CS Henry Rotich and eight others have not adduced their evidence despite taking off. On Wednesday, two witnesses who appeared before senior